Good day. The topic of my report, Scientific and Practical Approaches and Directions of the Land Resource Management System in the Sustainable Development Context. Land resources are the main component of Ukraine's natural resource potential. Therefore, the concentration of large tracts of land in different types of landowners and land users can become a factor that will cause changes in the nature of use in the country and its regions, affect their social and economic development and the environment condition. The nature of land resources usage affects almost all spheres of social and economic regional development of different levels, in particular territorial communities. The condition and quality of agricultural lands determines the nature of anthropogenic impact on the environment. By endorsing the sustainable development goals, the global community, including Ukraine, reaffirmed its commitment to sustainable and inclusive economic growth, social inclusion, environmental protection and the development of peaceful, just and inclusive societies through a new global partnership. The result of this work was the National SDG, Sustainable Development Goals, System of the Central Development System, which consists of national development tasks with corresponding indicators. Implementation of sustainable development principles requires the formation of development directions, strategic vision, based on a new philosophy of thinking, and new aspects of political activity. The transition to the principles of sustainable development will require comprehensive structural changes in the management of land resources. That is, the management of land resources is key to achieving the goals of sustainable development, ensuring food security jobs and income in the long term. In this paradigm, the concept of sustainable management of land resources appeared, which means the use of land resources, including soil, water, animals and plants, for the production of goods to meet changing human needs while simultaneously ensuring the long-term productive potential of these resources and preserving their ecological functions. FAO 2017 recognizes that sustainable use and management of land resources are essential to achieving sustainable development goal to producers and managers in natural resources adopt practices that increase and improve the supply of products and services in agricultural production in a sustainable manner. Implementation of the five principles of transit to sustainable agriculture and food production and integration of three sustainable development strands, social, economic, and environmental. Figure 2 requires a new approach to land resources and land use management at different levels competing destinations land use. Under the management of land resources and land use, it is necessary to understand the purposeful influence of owners, state, territorial communities, citizens, and legal entities, directly or indirectly on the process forms, and methods of organizing the most efficient use of land resources depending on the type and method usage of land. In this regard, considering the provisions of the state land policy defined in the Land Code of Ukraine, Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine, 2001, and the Law of Ukraine about the State Land Cadaster, Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine, 2011, in Ukraine. A model of a comprehensive multifunctional system of land resources management and land use should be introduced, which will balance the interests of all stakeholders in a combination of two mutually directed control processes. Figure 3. The formation of such a model of a complex multifunctional system of land resources and land use management in Ukraine is due to the decentralization of the management system as a whole in the relevant principles of land resources management top to bottom and principles of land use management bottom up should be applied. Figure 4. Increasing investments in sustainable management of land resources can significantly contribute to achieving the sustainable development goals. Goal 1. Overcoming poverty in all its manifestations. Goal 2. Overcoming hunger. Achieving food security. Promoting the balanced development of agriculture. Goal 6. Ensuring accessibility and balanced use water resources. Goal 13. Fighting climate change and its consequences. And Goal 15. Ensuring the protection and restoration of terrestrial ecosystems and promoting their balanced use. Implementing balanced forest management. Fighting desertification. Stopping the process of land degradation and starting their restoration and holding the loss of biodiversity. 
thus, ensuring the continued integration of sustainable land management into all state and local programs is a safe investment that ensures better sustainability for all, not only in the country, but in a land degradation neutral world. According to the scientists' methodology of the Land Management Institute of the Ukrainian Academy of Sciences, the coefficient of ecological stability indicates that, less than 0.33 the territory is ecologically unstable, from 0.34 to 0.50 minus refers to steady and stable, from 0.51 to 0.66 minus passes into the limits of average stability. If it exceeds 0.66, the territory is ecologically stable. Figure 6 shows that most regions of the country have an ecologically unbalanced and vulnerable territorial structure, which is associated with high plowed land. Only Zakapacha Oblast has an ecologically balanced territory. There is a direct relationship between land erosion and the degree of ecological stability. The dependence of agricultural land use indicators and factors of production intensification is most accurately determined by economic and mathematical modeling in the form of a multifactorial regression equation, using the example of agricultural enterprises of the Krasnikat territorial community of the Bogodukhiv district of the Kharkiv region. On the basis of the multivariate regression of the first degree, the relationship between the value of gross production, U, and the area of arable land, X1, qualitative assessment of arable land, X2, production costs, X3, and the cost of fixed and working capital, X4, was revealed. The dependence obtained as a result of data processing is characterized by the equation. The values of the equation parameters give reason to note that with an increase in the cost of fixed and working capital, and the quality of land, the cost of gross production increases by 0.10 UAH, and 59.8 thousand UAH, respectively. An increase in the area of arable land and production costs in farms contributes to an increase in the value of gross products by 0.75 UAH, and 0.17 thousand UAH. There is a fairly close relationship between the effective and factor characteristics, correlation coefficient is 0.8743. The test for significance proves the presence of a non-random dependence, as well as a high level of adequacy of the model construction. The actual F test of F, 3, 26, equals 8, 93. An important issue today is the improvement of the legal, economic and ecological mechanism for the removal, conservation, of degraded, unproductive and man-made agricultural lands from intensive use. In order to implement the goals of sustainable development of both the state as a whole and territorial communities, Goal 15 ensuring the protection and restoration of terrestrial ecosystems and promoting their balanced use, carrying out balanced forest management, combating desertification, ending the process of land degradation, restoring and stopping loss of biodiversity. We developed offers for the conservation of degraded and unproductive lands of the Krasnika Territorial Community of the Bogodukhiv District of the Kharkiv Region. Offers for the conservation of degraded and unproductive arable lands by types of degradation, and ecologically appropriate directions of their use are given in the Table 1. Removal of degraded and unproductive lands from intensive cultivation will allow 1 to concentrate investments on more fertile lands and obtain a higher yield of agricultural crops on them, to increase the level of the fodder-based development and, on their basis, the livestock industry. 2. To reduce the rate of erosion processes development and further soil degradation. 3. To bring the plowed percentage of the territory of the Krasnikat territorial community of the Bogodukhiv district of the Kharkiv region to 52%, actual plowed 63%. Conclusions. 1. The modern land management system should encourage agricultural enterprises and other interested parties to take decisive action in solving the problems of preserving valuable soil and black soil, Chernos M. Resources of Ukraine, to economical use and reproduction of their fertile potential. 
it is necessary to observe legality in the process of land use and land circulation, to promote the involvement of local territorial communities in solving priority problems related to the effective and ecologically safe use of soil resources and the reproduction of their fertile potential, to direct their activities to the improvement of the regulatory and legal framework on the problems of soil conservation, their effective use and reproduction of their fertile potential. 2. The main ecological directions in the land resources management system should be the following. Ensuring the priority of environmental safety requirements in the use of land resources over economic interest. Implementation of agrotechnical measures aimed at improving soil fertility and recovery. Increasing the share of organic production, strengthening control over illegal plowing of pastures and water protection areas, restoration of forest strips, increase in investments in agriculture, use of modern resource-saving technologies, in particular, resource-saving technology no-till, which allows increasing soil moisture retention, improving water availability, and reducing soil erosion, application of organic fertilizers, in particular, manure, straw, residues of agricultural production and Application of remote sensing data, RSD, and GIS technologies. Thank you for your attention.